All right, so we have a few different goals for today's video. I think we have really three main ones. Uh, so the first one is to clean up my room. The second thing is to mount this piece of wood onto my bed frame as a headboard. As you see right now, it's actually not even attached. It's literally just leaning up against the wall. It's very precarious um, and has fallen over this way multiple times. So it's really annoying and it's actually super heavy. So I'm gonna make a proper mount to attach this to the bed. And the third goal is to make a little workstation bench using this piece of wood. Um, so yesterday I went to Ikea and actually in their clearance section, they had this solid countertop half off. And so I'm gonna use this and basically just put it in the corner here and have it act as like a, a workstation. And yeah, so those are kind of like the three main goals for today's video. There will be a lot of DIY, a lot of things that I personally have not tried before. So this should be interesting um, and a learning experience for me. And yeah. Always practice good safety. You only get one set of eyes, guys. One set. So in some efforts to help save some material, I've kind of sectioned everything off. So this will be one of the panels that connects directly to the board. This will be on the other side to help support it. And then we'll have these little strips in the middle to basically act as like a spacer. So all I have to do now is take these pieces, put them through the saw, um, basically just cut them down to size. A note, I have never actually used this saw before, so this should be a very good learning experience. Um, yeah. Not even close at all. All right, so after a bit of time, I finally got all my pieces cut down to size. So oh, what this will end up looking like, nothing's drilled or glued together, but it'll essentially look like this. Um, and then imagine this is the headboard. So it would slide into this slot here. And then basically it clamps these pieces together to the headboard. And then this part here, imagine it's sideways, but this part here slips into the bed frame. I think <laughs> this is very hard to understand if you aren't actually looking at the bed frame and it'll make much more sense once it's all put together, but wow. I've never done actual woodworking before, so it's exciting, but definitely a lot of work involved just because I'm also obviously trying to be very safe about all of this. This is my first time using a circular saw, so I don't want to chop off any of my fingers, stuff like that, so.
All right, so it's like basically 5.30 right now. I probably started working on this around noon, if I'm being honest. So I've been at this like all day long. I think I've definitely, definitely learned a lot today. I've learned that I should raise up whatever I'm working on so that I can at least stand or sit while doing it because right now my back is killing me. But yeah, I think the headboard mounts are completed. So, as you can see, basically wood piece here, a little spacer, and then another piece that mounts to the holes on the back. And then later on, when we go upstairs, I'll take it and then this little piece here will hook into the actual bed frame. As you can see, it actually kind of angles down. Now it's somewhat intentional. Um, the idea is to kind of help it clamp down better on the bed frame. I don't know if it'll actually work or if this spacing will be too tight for it to not fit at all. Um, so that will be something that we figure out when we go upstairs. Yeah. Now, on to task number two. Um, as you can see, the other tabletop is under this one. I've kind of been using both as like a workstation. Um, but now I'm gonna put all those legs onto it. So that one should be significantly easier and fingers crossed should be done in like 10, 15 minutes. So hardest part is done out of the way. So it has been a few hours, but here is the semi-updated setup. So basically everything here is the same. I guess really the only major things I've changed in this room is the addition of the headboard. So as you can see, it's like, it is obviously a little bit wobbly, but overall pretty stable. So there you can see the wood pieces that I added and just kind of acts as like a little bracket to hold it on to the actual bed frame itself. Um, I switched out my sheets for a little bit of like a, a nicer, um, cooler feel now that we're getting into the summertime. And then the other thing that we've changed is this countertop. So obviously we added the legs earlier and yeah, the convenient thing about it is that um, with the addition of the legs, it's just taller than this Alex drawer set that I have, which makes it very convenient because now what I can do is 
It gives me the option to slide it out. And so anytime I wanna do some kind of electronics project, I have all my stuff in here. Not very organized, but it's still in there. Um, and it basically just gives me extra desk space um, to work. So that way, you know, my entire desk isn't flooded. And then if I need to quickly switch projects or something, then I can just kind of dump it all in here, wheel it back, and then it just tucks away nicely under there. So I think there'll be a lot more room renovations to come. Um, as you can see, the space is pretty bare, so I haven't added that many decorations, but eventually I will, so. I know this style of content was a little different today. Um, I was a lot more behind the camera than, I guess, directly in front of it, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought uh, in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.